All right, you guys, um, I'm going to start out here with showing you a few examples of containers, and then I'm going to get into how to start with your sketches and building yours up. Um, you're going to want to watch through these. It'll kind of walk you through uh, from start to finish on the skills that you'll potentially utilize, uh, but you'll definitely want to pause and rewind and stuff like that. I'm going to try to break this up into two uh, videos. So what I'm going to show you right now is just first, you know, this is an example of one uh, that was made. It's real simple. It's supposed to be a uh, uh, Raiders logo. Okay, that's the bottom of the container. Or I'm sorry, that's the top of the container. Uh, what you create is going to get mill. Uh, we're going to saw it off. So this whole entire stock piece is going to get sawed off. So below this piece is what's going to be exposed on the top. The other side of it that matches it, uh, the bottom is this right here. And then this lip right here would kind of insert in and then there's a um, very small tolerance that's uh, worked in so that they'll slide together but still have a, a nice little fit. Here's the one that I did uh, right before we left. Here's the container. Looks good. Um, of course, I sawed off this uh, base here and then that was exposed. That was the bottom of it. Here's the top of it, which is just a uh, negative of this area right here, this open area right here is this right here. There's some tolerance built in so that these slide right into those little curved areas. And then it appears that they create this band on the bottom right here with those little pieces that go down. And then they kind of um, are flush with these areas right here. So it looks good together. And I can show you can see those in class. They're on my uh, desk um, uh, right by the podium. Here's the one that I have that I made in my training. It was made on one piece like this, and then we milled it out on both sides and then sawed it off. This is the bottom. Here's the top. I want you to notice that we're just using basic uh, geometry that we're going to extrude. We're going to do offsets to make the walls. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention this, but the walls need to be at least an eighth of an inch thick. Um, and then I use uh, a lot often to make these uh, pattern things on the side. We just use the circular pattern tool to create shapes that we uh, negative extrude on the sides to make that. OK, so I'm going to try to show you some of those skills um, and that right there and then how to make a uh, projection of the geometry so you can make the top of it and stuff. All right. So there's that. And then here's another one that you can kind of look at as inspiration. That top right here locks onto this one right here and they made like a flat edge so that it only kind of locks on on one side of it so there you go all right so the first thing you want to do is you want to come up to file uh new and create a part file um your screen you might be getting that from a different screen but i think you guys can do that create a sketch on any of the planes Oop, hello create a sketch on any of the planes I want you to start with a three, a two point, two point center rectangle going from the center. I want you to click, let go, and move out. I've let go of the mouse. I'm hitting three inch, tabbing over, hitting three inch, hitting return. Now, if you place your item and you need to uh, redimension, you can come over here where the dimension is, double click on it, change it, and there you go. Um, Okay, so after we get that done, I'm going to hit Finish Sketch. I'm going to hit E to extrude, or you can come up here to the Extrude button, and we want to extrude it up an eighth of an inch. 0.125 is an eighth of an inch. Okay, so this is your non-millable eighth of an inch bottom. You can build now seven eighths of an inch in the Z direction up. Okay, I'm going to pause here just for a moment and collect my thoughts on what I need to do next. Okay, here we go. So, oops, hello. Next thing that we want to do is we want to start building. So we're going to do a 2D sketch on the top of the surface, like so. Now, at this point, you could make a simple circle as the outside, a rectangle. You could do half of it over here, design it, and mirror it over. I'll show you how to do that. So let's just say you want to do something really basic and you do a circle. Well, I'm not going to really worry about sizing of it right now. You know what your limitations are. So let me just go ahead and place a circle. Okay. At that point, I want to like to say, okay, I want to offset the inside of it for the inside. So I'm hitting the offset. 
clicking on that circle. I'm going to the middle now, and I have to make at least 0.125. There you go. And at that point, I have made a container. Uh, I can hit E. I've made a shape that can get extruded into a container. And then I can go up um, 0.875, which is 7 eighths of an inch. There you go. I've made a container. Now, if I saw it off the bottom of this, uh, it would be completely open. This is just a cylinder with an open bottom. So I would need to design up at least of an eighth of an inch for the bottom of it. Because if I click on the bottom right now, you can see it's flush with what's going to get cut off. Okay. So I'm going to pause, regain my thoughts here, and show you some more skills here in just a moment. Oh, my. Why can't I get...